Taupe of the morning to ya. I had to say it. That's the name of the color we're going to take a deep dive on today. This is Color Quickie, a quick video about a paint color and also some other paint colors that go really well with it, according to me. I am of course James from The Paint People. This is a channel all about painting and decorating and this is gonna be a video all about Taupe of the morning. A color by Sherwin-Williams that was requested by one of our channel members. Thank you guys so much for joining. What we're gonna do is get into this color. I'm gonna give you some need to know information about it, how I might use it in my home. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you a color palette that I put together by myself for my faithful viewers. Faithful. You think after doing all these videos, I would know how to talk. So first of all, I love the name Taupe of the Morning. Not the whole top of the morning to you reference, but I enjoy that a color this light is being described as a taupe because usually people think of taupe as the really dark, rich, earthy, browny gray colors. But I like to describe a lot of colors as taupey or taupe leaning where their coloration just comes from some level of brown and gray. And that's what this color is doing for me. It is a taupey warm gray that essentially looks like it started as brown and gray and then a lot of white was added into the paint can to make it the way it is. Although there maybe is a little bit of a beiginess to it, I do almost put it in the gruge category, like those rougey grays, but I do feel it is neutral enough that it doesn't make a clear statement one way or the other. It should be noted that this is a color that was picked for the Emerald Designer Collection, which I think is pretty prestigious. As far as I know, you can only get this color in emerald paint. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. But at any rate, I do think it's a color that you can really rely on as a basis point, a starter color, a neutral you don't really have to worry about in most situations. If you want a wall color that's not going to be the main star of the show, that's what this color is. I don't see any reason for this color to really be the standout feature of your home decor. And if it is, it is. <laughs> What could I say? Before we get into some color pairings, let's talk about the technical stuff of this color, mainly the LRV, the light reflectance value. This is a number from zero to 100 that tells us how light or dark this color is. The higher that number, the lighter it's going to appear. We have taupe of the morning coming in at 65 out of 100, which means it's pretty light. It's a very light mid-tone color, I would say. And I think that's a good thing for the most part because it's not light enough that you're not gonna notice it although it's kind of devoid of real color, so maybe you won't notice it anyways. But there's enough to it where you're not gonna think it's white, especially if you have bright white doors and trim next to it, you're really gonna notice a separation between the two. There's gonna be some contrast, which I think is a nice thing. Kind of an oatmeal color, and I've said it before, I actually don't mind oatmeal, especially with a little bit of peanut butter in there, but. Definitely a clean slate blank canvas color. So why don't we incorporate some other colors to really boost up this color palette, make it a little bit exciting and fun. Maybe we'll do that after this first color pairing because we have another taupey color called taupe tone. Taupe of the morning, taupe tone. Great combination. Now, clearly this is a much darker color, a little more of a traditional taupe, I would say. Although it is a little warmer than your standard taupe. It's not so much brown and gray as it is a little more of a tan and gray. There is that sort of slight gold yellow tinge that brings it to warm territory while still feeling earthy and kind of like one of those stone brown gray colors that taupe is known for. But that being said, because both of these colors are sort of taupe leaning in one way or another, they're gonna work really well together. They're both neutrals, they're gonna coexist really well. Although taupe tone just has a lot more saturation to it. It's rich as a color, it's more deep, it's darker. So just keep that in mind when you're using it in a space that maybe doesn't get a lot of light, will appear even darker than it actually is. So if that spooks you, don't be scared, just, just test your colors. Next up we have Big Chill. And this color is similar in lightness to Taupe of the Morning, our first main feature color. But what's happening here is you're losing a lot of that warmth. There is a little bit of brown still kind of hiding in the background, but I would say this is going more towards a gray direction, but it's not just a lifeless gray to me. It has this silvery quality to it, this sort of frosty, almost purple undertone that can sometimes show, which I think is Nice. I think it's a different look. It offers you a different option outside of anything a little more warm leaning. Now, funnily enough, this is part of the white color family, but it has a 62 LRV, I think, which is not even an off-white territory for me, but it does behave kind of like an off-white would. It's pretty clean and passive. It has this sort of 
very light gray aspect to it, but it's not really a white. Just like Taupe of the Morning, this is one of those neutral background colors, but it offers you a different feel, a little more sleek, perhaps a bit more Scandi, I would say. I love chilling in Scandi spaces, y'all. Big chills. Get it? It's the name of the color? Okay. Speaking of color, we've talked a lot about neutrals. Let's bring in something kind of resembling this, actually, not sponsored. Kendall Green. I love this color. It's very hard to describe. It's not quite pistachio green or sage or forest green. It's almost a jade, malachite green, emerald in a way. And although this has a 16 LRV, which makes it the darkest color we've talked about for sure, it has so much fun to it. It has such an uplifting, upbeat feel where it has the energy of a lighter color, even though it's so saturated. This color is special to me and I would maybe reserve it for one use case in your home, just so it's very much accentuated. Amongst all the neutrals we talked about, all of a sudden you have one part of your home, whether it's a room that you really wanna show off in or a very special piece of furniture you're refinishing. Use this color in those situations because it's really gonna stand out in a beautiful way. We gotta talk about trim colors, y'all. Baseboards, doors, frames. Everyone always forgets about the trim, but you gotta paint them too. I got two options for you if you wanna go for a light or a dark choice. Greek Villa would be my off-white or white baseboard color for most of you. One of my favorites by Sherwin-Williams, not just because I went to Greece for my honeymoon, but as a color, it's great. It has some warmth to it, it's clean, it's subtle, it's simple, no brainer. As for our darker trim color, I opted for kind of a taupey color, but it has a green undertone as well. It's called Anonymous. And it's one of those chameleon colors that can sometimes look a little more brown, a little more green tinged. It won't ever look full on green, more of a khaki feel. But I sort of feel any color you put it with in this palette, it's gonna work in different but interesting ways. Here's the palette all together. Let me know what you think, please. And we got more color right over here. Subscribe if you haven't already, by the way, because we're almost at 100K. <laughs> And if you're still watching and wanna support us even more than you already do, become a channel member today and support us with a monthly nominal fee, the same price as a Cadbury cream egg.